What's up you guys? Welcome to Ashtoberfest day 14. Today I switched it up and did something a little bit more spooky and I'm calling this one Wicked Witch or something along those lines. You guys get the idea. This look is pretty simple to recreate and I really like the way that it turned out so I hope you guys enjoy the video too. Also my bat and fang beanies and hat sold out super quick so I am going to be bringing them back this week. And if they sell out again, that will be it. I won't be having any more merch for Ashtoberfest. So just a heads up in case you guys weren't able to check that out and you wanted to, the link is in the description box and let's get into the video. Starting off with my foundation today, I'm using my Makeup Forever foundation in the shade Y205. This is the palest foundation that I own, so that's why I'm using it. I'm just really packing that on to cover up all my blemishes that I have right now. And I'm blending all that out with my beauty blender. Instead of using any concealer today, I'm going to be using a white cream paint to get that really ghostly, kind of dead look. And I'm using my white cream paint from Ben Nye. So I'm just going to be blending that out underneath my eyes. And I do end up putting that like on my nose, my forehead, and my chin. Then of course I'm going to set all of my base using a translucent powder. and then I need to fill in my brows. Today I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills waterproof cream color in the shade Jet. So I am filling my brows in black for this look. And I did change the shape of my brows just a little bit towards the end. I didn't have it arch as much and I had it go a little bit more straight out. For my eyes today, I'm using my Kat Von D pastel goth palette and I'm gonna be taking the shade Dagger. I'm gonna start by blending out my crease. Then I'm going to pack that shade all over my lid. I'm also taking that same shade on my lower lash line and I'm just smoking it out a little bit. I am going to go back in a second and fix the shape of my eyeshadow, but I left it at this for now. On my waterline, I'm going to take my Urban Decay 24-7 liner in the shade Alkaline. I really like the way that this made my waterline look a little bit bloody, which is kind of gross, but I thought it looked cool. And underneath that, I'm going to smoke that red shade out with a little bit of my Sugar Pill Love Plus shadow. And then I'm going to go back in with that dagger shade and just make the shape of my eyeshadow a little bit more dramatic towards my nose and then take it out a little bit more on the outer edge as well. Through my brows, I wanted a little bit of a dusty effect, so I took my white cream paint and I'm just brushing it through. I'm doing this with a really light hand so it doesn't fill in the brow, but it just picks up on some of the hairs for a really dramatic effect. To contour out my face, I'm going for a little bit more of a skull or skeleton effect, and I'm taking that same shade, Dagger, from my Pastel Goth palette and I'm just carving out where my bones go. I did end up taking some of Sugar Pill's black eyeshadow in Bulletproof just to deepen this up a little bit. And then I'm taking a bigger, fluffier brush to kind of blend that out. I also wanted my lips to be really pale, so I'm taking my Beauty Blender with my leftover cream paint on it and just packing that on. I'm also setting my lips with my translucent powder as well. To contour my nose, I'm using that same gray eyeshadow and I'm just taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush from the Subculture palette to contour with. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know I'm obsessed with this brush for contouring my nose. For this look, I'm not going to be wearing any false lashes. I'm just going to add one coat of mascara to my lashes and leave them like that. I'm also going to be giving myself some witchy little dots and a little crescent moon on my forehead. And just so you guys know, I messed up this crescent moon so many times. I was so fed up with it that I just ended up leaving it like this for now. Eventually, I erase this one and draw another one. But for now, I'm going to go in and draw some little dots. For that, I'm using my Flirt dot 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 liner in the shape Beauty Mark. It has a really cool end on it that is literally just for making polka dots. So I'm just going to be adding a bunch of dots to the outer corner of my eyes. I also decided to take that in towards my nose and give a little dot underneath my eye. So here is where I wipe off that crescent moon and I just drew another one. I don't even think it recorded, but that's what I was left with. Still not really happy with that result, but I left it. 
Next, I'm just taking a white pencil liner and I'm kind of drawing out a highlight above my cheekbone. And then I'm taking a liquid liner in white and I'm just going to be drawing dots all around that. I'm also adding some white dots on the inner corner of my eyes as well. For lips, I just put on a tiny little dot of black liquid lipstick and I'm taking my finger to blur that out on my lips. And before I go in and draw my crazy teeth, I'm taking that dagger shadow and I'm just smoking out all around my lip where I know that those lines are going to go. And that will give the lips a little bit more depth. For the mouth, I knew I wanted to do a really spooky skeleton-like look, but I didn't want to draw any teeth. So I was inspired by my friend on Instagram. Her name is Ida and she does lip shapes like this all the time. And I have never actually done one. I was really obsessed with all of the looks that she's done. So I took inspiration from her. And I'm basically just taking a black body paint. I'm taking it on a really tiny brush and I'm kind of slowly drawing out each line and where I want it to go. And once I have all the lines down where I want them, I'm going back in with my almost dry brush and I'm kind of flicking out the edges so that it gets a really fine point. I wanted to add a little bit of sparkle to this look. You definitely don't have to, but I'm using my Sugar Pill Ghosted pigment. So I'm just dabbing that on my cheeks and I'm putting a lot of it on my nose. Next, I'm taking my Encore Zombie Palette. And I'm going to be picking up a few of the shades in here, mostly the red and the blue, but also some of the white and gray. I like to use these paints for doing zombie looks and things like that just because they are a little bit more translucent and appear more skin-like when you first apply them. So I'm just taking another small liner brush and I'm just drawing out some little scraggly veins. I'm using the red and the blue shade for this. And then I'll be taking a bigger little paintbrush and splattering some red, some blue, some white, and some gray all over. So at first I just took that on my neck, but I'm also adding a little bit of the gray and white to my face just to break up my skin tone and give me a little bit more of an aged effect. If you guys watched my zombie tutorial from last year, it was one of my favorite looks that I did. It was the least viewed video on my channel to this day, but it was one of my favorite looks to do and I use the same technique. And that is it for this look. I'm just gonna pop on my wig and my little hat and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look. This hat is not as spooky as it should be. It's because it's the only one that Target had left in the kids section. So I had to make it work for this look. I love the way that this look turned out. I love the way that the gray wig worked with the gray eyeshadow. I will link the wig and the style down below in case you guys are interested in checking it out, as well as all the products that I used in this tutorial. But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.